Sir, I I'm coming, sir. William, just, just give him some of your tonic. Give him some of yours. This is mine. You have two bottles. Hey there. So this is Monday night, August the 15th. We're on day three of editing Professor Tom Foolery Saves the Planet. Uh, the scene right here that I have is scene 92, and I've actually edited this scene long, long ago to show it as a little bit of a preview of some of the footage that was coming out. However, it did not have the synced sound with the microphones, so tonight I was able to sync up the sound from the microphones, which was pretty tricky since the scene had been edited, and I was trying to figure out which mics were connected with which scenes. It's much more difficult once I've taken off the head ends where the clap markers are and all that stuff. However, I got that synced up. Uh, what I'm going to show you is this scene, and then I'm also going to show you the scene that I was working on last night that I've edited with the new sound. So in this scene 92, uh, what happens in the film is that there's a young woodcutter who has fallen in love with the professor, and uh, he and the professor are now on the outs. They had a bit of a diff of opinion, and uh, so now this young woodcutter is trying to make it on his own, and he's teamed up with some other woodcutters who are just giving him a lot of grief. Hey, keep up, boy! Yes, sir! I I'm coming, sir! William, give, just give him some of your tonic. Give him some of yours. This is mine. Hey, you have two bottles. Yes, sir. Keep up, boy. You don't keep up, you don't get paid. Yes, sir. Just pour it down his throat. That'll get him going. Here, take the damn saw. All right, come here, boy. Get on your knees, boy. Sir? Well, come on, get out. All right, now open your mouth. Open your mouth, boy. Ain't gonna hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> A little left. <laughs> That'll get him going. <laughs> One note about the sound, nothing is mixed. None of the colors are mixed. You may hear some clicks and popping sounds, and that's perfectly okay. That will all come out when I actually do the mixing part. Right now, we're just getting the rough cut put together. Ah, I see you're reading walls. It's to keep the draft out. <laughs> We've got to stick together. They try to divide us. And then they conquer. The Civil War is settled, Shaw. Hardly. That's not what I'm talking about. It's these tycoons use us as pawns to play their own games. If the people in this town were better educated, they wouldn't be so easily misled. I'm afraid your own Tom has fallen prey. Well, he always wants to be the center of attention, and he'll do anything to get there. That contraption of his mm. it could ravage mountains, take every tree that they want to sell to feed their oh. steam machines. Oh, I hardly think it's that bad. You, you watch, Amos. A machine like that could decimate an entire forest in a day. Oh, Tom is foolish, but he's not destructive. What other purpose does he think that contraction serves? He's trying to raise money for another invention of his. Um, some pile of gears that he says will <laughs> predict the future. <laughs> I can see the future as clear as your eye. Mm. Fox and his ilk, they have these people bamboozled. <laughs> if he were to tell them the true patriots live outdoors and only anarchists live in houses, <laughs> they'd probably burn theirs down. <laughs> ah, they need education even if that means classes, by the light of kerosene. Oh, I hardly think the uneducated are that beguiled. Not beguiled, poisoned. <laughs> 